My phone's just Patricia. Story, you just blew us out. I turn mine off and just put it. Through. Okay, it's six thirty. September the 24th, I call this meeting to order. At this time, let's rise for the invocation and pledge of allegiance. Let us pray. Father, we do gather this evening and thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for the freedom we have to gather and discuss the city's business. Thank you for all the guidance you give us and the wisdom we seek. Give us direction tonight that what we do would be in the best interest of the city of Jefferson and to all concerned. In your son's holy and precious name, we lift up this prayer. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Okay, at this time, up for bid, um, up for bid, Bart Varnell. Hello, Council. Uh, I'm Bart Varnell. For y'all that don't know me, I've, uh, I've had the mowing contract now for 12 years for the city. Uh, in 2019, I was awarded the, the mowing bid for the city properties, and I've been doing it since. Um, in, in the last 12 years, I've never had an issue with a mayor, with a city council member, with a cemetery board member, or anyone involved in what I do. You know, uh, everything has run pretty smooth up until this year. And uh, we had a few issues, not with me because I was never addressed, but one of my employees were. Uh, you know, as he was working uh, up here, he was stopped by the mayor and, uh, you know, he was led into pretty hard about the job that he was doing. Not one time has the mayor contacted me Mr. Allen Watley, or anyone on the job that I've been doing for the city. You know, and like I said, in the past 12 years, I hadn't had any issues whatsoever. I'm just here to, you know, uh, when I got this 12 years ago, you know, I told the council then that it was a full-time job. This, this ain't a part-time gig. It's, it's not a side gig. It's a full-time job for a crew. I have a crew that works for me. And it's every day, a lot of days, I mean, a lot of times it's six days a week. And, uh, you know, so at times, you know, there's a lot of things that dictate the mowing, you know, weather. It, it, we may show up to mow and maybe this parking lot may be full of cars. So, you know, there's times that something may not get mowed that you think may need mowing right then, but we always get to it, you know. We're, we're normally on an eight to 10 day rotation. Is what, is what our mowing consists of on all the properties. About eight to 10 days we're mowing each property. So, you know, I just kind of want to get that out there to let you guys know kind of how we're doing it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty, in here in East Texas, I mean, peak mowing season is from about end of February through November. So that's what we're doing. And then when it's not peak mowing season, we're taking care of the other maintenance stuff, like, you know, the, uh, helping uh, level the graves at the cemeteries if they need filling in or leveling off or uh, uh, whether it's trimming limbs or doing whatever doing during the non-peak season so I just kind of wanted to you know let you guys know what we do and uh, if you got any questions for me I'll be glad to answer them I have one did okay. your employee tell you that he told me that y'all waited it about nine times out of ten when you came not every time nine times out of ten nine times out of ten so does it need it every time so sometimes it may not is, Next. is it uh, am your i time, done your time's up oh my time's up yep. i appreciate it thank you. thank you thank you okay next up is jeff sofage well that's pretty common 
that you hear across the town and you've seen with how you work with employees and the statement you made down at the restaurant here in town because I had a, a couple people there. You know, I don't know if you want to class yourself as a. Listen. Uh, no, if, I'm talking. If you I want have the floor. To, if you want to, if I have you the floor. want to do the on the agenda or city business. No, it's been fine, business. But you're not going to stand you up there and bash city business. me anymore. You may not leave I've this. Had it. Oh my goodness! See, this is the problem with you. You're Good. a one-sided. Tino. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Sofich. Has I have three a right minutes to say his, Thank his you. piece. It is freedom of speech. It yes, sure is. and it and is public it. comment. He and is here's the other thing: we would have had another lawsuit coming your way. You have enough of them coming already. So I want to start my time back over because I was rudely no, interrupted not. by you. Too bad. Rudely, as you being a bully across the town, and I've told everybody when you were elected mayor, you'd be the worst thing for this town as far as lawsuits. And it has come true to the facts, how you talk to people, how you approach people. You represent the town, not you. Here's what you're, I don't know what you're mad about. I think you're mad because you thought you were going to sit at your house for 40 years and all of a sudden run for being a mayor and then just turn this town around. That's not going to happen. Okay? You don't run this town. See these great folks here? They make the decision not you and here's the thing about you city council members if you jump in behind her bandwagon you're a part of the bully system here's what you ought to do mayor in my opinion oh gosh i value that oh you're just a peach to deal with here's what you should do take your sign drunk wives matter and resign because if that's how you look at yourself as a drunk wife that should tell the rest of the town how you look at the town <laughs> through, the, through the bottle of a wine glass. Because you're the worst mayor and more lawsuits are coming to this town and you all should be prepared for it. You too, Hollis. It's amazing that you're letting this mayor talk to people. The man who's worked here for 15 years and never had a mayor have a problem. And all of a sudden, a mowing company's been here 15 years and never had a problem. You can't have a bulldog. I can say whatever I want because I'm not sitting in a chair. You can't ruin me financially and I don't give a hoot. This person, the people have buyer's remorse against you. You are the talk of the town about being a bully. Look at your attitude. You think you're king poo poo bears. It'll all come back to haunt you. Laugh. Because guess what? There's another lawsuit coming your way. Okay. Thank you. Next up, we uh, are going to move on to action items. We're to number one. Number 5A is to consider, discuss, and or approve to award bid. Was that all the comments? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Did you think I left somebody out? I'm just making sure. Consider, discuss, and or approve to award a bid for the city property to be mowed. You have the move before you. And here we go. The city property came in at Hunt and Jay's Lawn Service, came in at 26.4. Kathy Lambert's My Father's Garden with no insurance came in at 80,000. Bart Vernell's law, lawn care service, no insurance yes, upon insurance. requirement. I, 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 I'm gonna read it. Okay. okay, just calm down, I'm gonna read it. Okay, uh, $35,000. Do I hear a motion? So I just have a question. Can okay. we have Bart to come back up since, or any of the other people here? You can't talk from the floor. But I, I do have currently insurance because I, I just got due mow mowing at the end of August is when my contract was ended by the mayor was at the end of August. So I do I currently have insurance right now. Okay. okay.
So myself, I would like to make the motion to um, approve Bart's or to accept Bart's bid for thirty-five thousand. I'll second that. Discussion. May I make a comment? Yes. Um, Alan works with the, no disrespect, but Alan works with these people and usually we make a recommendation of some sort, but I have, I, I don't know how this works. So would you like to hear from him on what he did? Yes, I would like to hear from Alan. And who he, he met with? He's a big part of yes. uh, working with Bart in the city and what, what goes on, so I would like to hear from Alan. So, Usually when we do these bids, I'm the one that the city representative that they answer to. Y'all got a copy of what was Q put in the paper for us. So I took all these people around, showed them what they do, and I usually have make concerns or notes for myself when I meet with all these people. And then in the past, we've always kind of had a committee that would come together and make a recommendation to the council of what the committee does when we open the bids. We skipped that process, so I guess I'm the one that's going to have that on my back. So I do have some concerns, but I agree with your motion that you made. You can, you can okay. So, you, you so I do say the city mowing and the cemetery mowing is a crew. You do have to have a crew. Hunt and Jay's lawn service, he's, he seemed like a great guy. My biggest concern was him, talking with him, is it's a husband and wife that does it. They do not have no help. So I'm very concerned that they do not realize what they're taking on. That, you know, it's mowed every week because I do see what Bart goes through. I've seen what the previous contractors that had it before Bart went through. So it is very time consuming. So it will require somebody with a crew. So that's why I say I just I'm concerned about hunting Jay's lawn service. So. Could I ask where Hunt and Jay's is out of? What Linden? I'm, I'm pretty sure he told me Linden is where he said he was from. Maybe Linden or Atlanta. Some up north a little bit. And just for me, although I saw yes, this bid on this is, is much cheap is you know a little bit cheaper, but when we go and look at the other portion of it, it's yes. very, very yes, you know, so you have to kind of and that's, I want to wait in on both. Yes, but and so, that's my it's, it will be a lot simpler or more efficient if we have one company doing both. I'm not running between two different contractors. And, you know, just locally, somebody who has been doing it for so, so long, um, I just want to say, you know, I've never been able to say thank you. So, you know, just thank you for the service that you have done um, and just appreciate you not, like, because I, I didn't even expect this long to be so I've always been the lowest bid. Mm -hmm. you know, I always. Appreciate, you know, that yeah. for the city. So I do appreciate that. So. And, you know, I, I meant to say earlier, too, but, you know, when I was talking about our, our rotation on how often we mow, that is, you know, a, a schedule that we have. But I've been on vacation before, and I've received phone call from this man right here going like, hey, uh, man, they're having something at the center. Can you, can you guys get over there and mow it? Um, it's always a phone call. I make a phone call, my guys go do it. We've done it this year, a matter of fact, a couple different times. If it falls in between my mowings, we don't mind. You know, but we, we do have a schedule and a rotation on, on when we mow. But if something is going on and there's an event happening or something like that, we don't mind going in, and before our time, before our rotation comes back around. So, and, and that's the way we've done it for all these years. I mean, and, and really never had any issues whatsoever. I've been through plenty of council members and a number of mayors and never had any issues. So I, I appreciate it. Does this contract call for you to keep the, um, around the cemetery clean, the, the 
fence lined around the cemetery? No, ma'am. This is city property contract, not the I'm talking cemetery. about on the next one that's coming in. I, oh, I just thought I'd go ahead and yeah. ask. Well, okay, on the city, does it, do you uh, weed eat underneath the swings and the children's? Yes, ma'am. You do not. Yes, ma'am, we sure do. Well, it sure grows fast. Well, I guess it does, but listen. Okay. I take pride. It, look, it's thing? mowing and weed eating. Okay, and, and we don't half-ass nothing, okay? I wasn't raised that way. And I don't know what your issue is with me, but, but we do our job, and no one has ever had any issues with my quality of work. No one. Now, I don't know where this is coming from, but well, that's, that's the, the truth. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I've never done nothing to you. I've never met you until that's tonight. Right. That's right. So I, I don't know where this is coming from. Because I'm driving around looking. You drive at around looking. Have you drove around looked at it now since we yeah, have been mowing have, since I August? Have. That's why we had this meeting tonight so that you could get back on it. My point okay. is, you're not. The grass is growing over the curbs into the street, up at City Park. It needs to be neat. It, it needs and, and it, I, when I out here I had to ask y'all to mow that over there after Alan had or to we did it after Alan had cleaned it up. There's been a truck and trailer <laughs> sitting there for a year. That's why it was grown up. It, it's that, been sitting in that parking lot for over a year. Well how did the weeds it grow not? up then that high? How did the weeds grow that high with that sitting there? I how know it was sitting there. But it was. I'm not getting an argument uh, back and yeah, forth with you over this, okay? I do my job and I know I do it well, okay? Well, so. Okay. So, Ms. Patricia, just a suggestion to you. If you would just maybe call the city and ask them to come and look at this and see what it's Not one time has this lady called, called my I number. I was told to call Alan. No, he's never call, Alan Wally has never come to me and said, hey, the mayor's got concerns about what you're doing. You showed up the day that I had an employee down here working and never introduced yourself, jumped out of your vehicle like a bulldog, and just lit into him. Alan. That, that is the truth, because he came up five minutes after that Alan, and witnessed it. Has the mayor contacted you regarding Mr. Varnell's job? No, sir. I, I pulled up when she was getting on to Mr. Bar Barry Varnell. Barry's my brother. And he works with me. I just she pretty well him. throwed me the papers and said, here, handle it, do your job. And I was trying to get prepared for a budget workshop. And okay. even when I had to, you know, you were working so hard you probably didn't even see me um, when I came to the community center that day. I, I, I remember when you came over there, but, but I was. But he was so nice. You know, yeah. like, he was very nice to me. He answered all of my questions. And I never told him who I was. Right. He never said, I am April Taylor Johnson City Council. It was just simple. You know, just simple questions. Yeah, because we see a lot of people all the time on, on different properties. Me. I'm yeah. just saying. We don't have to fight everybody. Some stuff you can just talk through. This game is fighting. We don't have to fight everybody. And like I said before, we go through people talking to all of us like this. Like yeah. we have to sit and listen to, to this. We, yeah. we did sign up for it. But some of it, we didn't sign up for some of the stuff we can try to prevent is all I'm saying. I don't want to have to argue with I don't either. I everybody. just want the job done. There's at the cemetery, the back, when you stand and look at the cemetery, the very back left-hand side where the dark pile is, the weeds are this high. They've never That's been because cut. because it's not mowable. Okay, it's not mowable. That's not my job to landscape it to where it can I didn't be ask, mowed. I didn't, so Alan, why haven't we mowed it with the tractor? We do, we mow it about three times a year, the city does. That same as Oakwood Memorial, to the right of the river. And Ray, back to your deal, so I do just want to add, I have not spoke to the mayor since August 13th. August 13th. Yes, sir, and I have my phone here if anybody would like to see it. Okay, thank you. And, and why, why we're on the subject of fences at cemeteries, Oakwood Memorial, Okay, 
it was contracted out and cleared off. I don't, I don't know how many of y'all have been by <coughs> there to see it, okay? I put a bid in on that, and I told Alan that uh, we couldn't get to it until like October because we were so busy moving. Well, it, my bid wasn't accepted, and I was fine with that, to tell you the truth, because I way underbid it to start with. But y'all should go up there and look at it because your contractor that did it did not finish his job. Alan hired him. Alan called him. Whoever. I had nothing to do with it. Uh, so, well. so I did I did get the bid. If you remember, Miss Patricia, you went up there and met with him, told him to leave the trees there, plus added work to them, and I will get Randy's tree service to verify that. And okay, you coded the bill. Good. I didn't pay the bill. You I, I went up there after they had already done that and asked them to... The tree that out in the middle of the cemetery had the dead, huge, tall limbs, yes, dead, hanging there, and I just asked you to take those down before they fell. But I just want to make sure I did not code the bill. You coded the bill and paid the contractor, not me, because I would not code it because it was over what he bid it, because you so, added extra work well, to it. it. it needed, you should have I looked have at it, seen it, and authorized it to be done at that time instead of waiting on it to fall. Okay. We're sharing mics, so. We're sharing mics. Okay, I think we're here tonight to an exception of bid on the mowing. Mr. Barnell's been with it for 12 years now and everything else, and evidently this is the first time there's been an issue. Okay. Mr. Watley says he stands behind Mr. Barnell and his mowing and his job performance and everything else. Yes, sir. We don't need to sit here and argue about one spot here, one spot here, one spot here. I think things like that can be handled on a basis when it occurs as we go along. I think we just need to work focus on this bid right here. Thank you. I agree. And let me just say, my husband has a hard time mowing one yard, so <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. It's, it's, it's nonstop. Okay. Okay. So. Any other discussion? We'll take a vote then. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? It's unanimous um, to Mr. Cornell, the contract. Next up, we Thank have you. the city. Next up, we have to consider, discuss, and or approve to award bid for the city for the cemetery maintenance mowing. And the bids we have are Hunt's and Jay's lawn service at 26,000, Kathy Lambert's My Father's Garden at 80,000, and Bart Varnell lawn care service at 35,000. I'm sorry, but That's, you're on the city property. Oh, I'm property. sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. Okay, Hunt's Jay, Hunt and Jay's lawn service, $70,200, Kathy Lambert, 85,000, and Bart Varnell, 45,000. Motion to approve Bart Varnell. Oh, I have I have one oh. question. Oh no, go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So my discussion is we need a second. Oh, he seconded. Okay. Okay, so we um originally in the budget was forty one. So are we able to go up to the forty five? Because I would like to do the forty five for him. So is that possible for us to go up? We only budgeted it for 41. Well, we can move from the other down there. Okay. Yeah. So. Because the other, I think, is under budget. budget. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Unanimous? Now. Um, Thank, thank y'all. And, and I'm, I'm seriously, I'm only a phone call. Everybody's got my number. I send emails to each one of y'all, I believe. So my, my phone number's on there, or Mr. Watley has it. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Melissa, you want us to Whatever you want to do. We could do that. At this time, we're going to be going into executive session. Um, under my agenda, here we go. Section 551.074, deliberations concerning personnel matters, appointment, employment, evaluation, reassignment, duties, discipline, 
or dismissal of public officer or employee. And this is regarding the uh, city administrator. So at public works. We are at and public works. 655 into executive session.
closed the executive session now uh, at 7.09. We are back in session here. Next on the agenda is, and it's been asked that it be done in open session, Section 551.074, Deliberations Concerning Personnel Matters, Appointments, Employment, Evaluation, Reassignment, Duties, Discipline, or Dismissal of a Public Officer or Employee. And this time it's the Public Works Director. Good evening. I'd like it noted for the record that Mr. Allen Watley's attorney is present. Uh, Melissa Board, I believe you have my letter of representation. Thank you all. I Thank do you. have a brief statement to make. Ladies and gentlemen of the council, esteemed members of the public, I stand before you today not only as a public works director of Jefferson, Texas, but as a man who has dedicated himself to the service of this city and this residence. My role has always been to ensure that the essential services of our community run smoothly, that our infrastructure is maintained and that the voices of the people I serve are heard. Unfortunately, over the past months, I have faced unfair and unrelenting harassment from our newly elected mayor, Patricia Finstrom. Mayor Finstrom has publicly berated me, cursed at me, repeatedly told me she hates me, all while threatening my job on countless occasions. What should have been and what once was a professional environment has turned into something unbearable, an atmosphere of hostility, not just for me, but for others who dare to stand up for what is right. This harassment is a direct result of my commitment to standing up for the rights of our residents. I've spoken out on behalf of landowners who are dealing with ongoing water and sewer issues, even informing the mayor that her actions are in some cases inaction or effecti effectively depriving these landowners of their ability to fully use their property. Furthermore, I have pointed out that the bathrooms at Lyons Park, one of the mayor's pet projects, will require substantial sewer upgrades. Because of my willingness to address these issues, I have been unfairly targeted and vilified. Let me be clear, this is not about moonlighting or trivial accusations. This is about a pattern of abuse and abuse of power that seeks to punish those who prioritize the well-being of our community over petty projects. The mayor's animosity towards me is rooted in my insistence that we focus on the real issues like addressing the ongoing water and sewer crisis rather than diverting attention to lesser matters. I'm here today not just for myself, but for every city employee, landowner, resident who has been treated unjustly or unfairly. This pattern of oppression and discrimination cannot stand, and I will not be intimidated. I believe in this city, in fairness, and in the truth. And despite the mayor's efforts, I will continue to do my job and stand for what is right. I ask for fairness, and I ask for integrity to be restored to this city. I am more than willing to address any questions the council members may have. However, based on the advice of my attorney, there are certain topics I am limited in discussing. Thank you. Anybody got anything to say? I do. So I heard it earlier, but I want to make sure I heard it again. When was the last time you said you talked to Ms. Patricia or tried to email or whatever? So I, I thought the last conversation I had with Ms. Patricia was on August 13th. She, text, I, she texted me, wanted me to be at a budget workshop. I informed her that I couldn't make it. I was already had plans, but I would do a future date, and I just told her that I don't know why she'd want me at the budget workshop, because she knows as well as I do I had nothing to do with that budget. That was before me and Rob done the budget. She immediately picked up the phone, called me, August 13th, I was here. I walked over into this room where the ladies in City Hall couldn't hear me, and she went to screaming at me, cursing at me, telling me that I have it all confused, that she gives me the orders, I don't give her the orders. And I said, Miss Patricia, what if you 
told me to do that I haven't done? She said, nothing. I said, what have I told you to do? She said, nothing. She got very emotional and hung up on me. And she did Saturday. She did text me the first time and asked me about the water running out of the water tower. Miss Melissa, from August 13th to now, there has been lots of questions that she's went to Miss Melissa, and I, Miss Melissa could answer better what she has told her, but Miss Melissa would have to make an email to me and the mayor. I would reply with another question and still would never hear an answer from the mayor, nor would Miss Melissa. Okay, so my next thing is he has to have, right now we don't have a city administrator. So as a council, if Ms. Patricia is not responding back to him or whatever, he has to have somebody that can kind of help him maneuver through whatever. So Robin, you being Mayor Pro Tem, are you able to help him to navigate if he has questions? Well, let, let me just say something first. That was the biggest bunch of junk I've ever heard and the most untruth I've ever heard. You know, don't say anything. This all started because somebody asked me and I asked somebody, I asked Janie Warren, if he, while he's at, do, at work here for the city, if he goes out during the day to Kellyville and works on their water. I'd been told he did. I asked Janie. She said, yeah, sometimes during his break. Well, all of a sudden, Alan wants a meeting. And I said, no, we'll just take it to council. I wanted everybody to get in on this. I don't have any problems with Alan. I think Alan is overworked. We've talked about it. He won't hire anybody else, so when he's not here, um, we've asked you know, a number of times. I've never heard you tell me, this, this tonight was the first time you have ever said anything to me about the city park in the bathrooms. It's kind of like the Ponder deal. Melissa and I had no idea what was going on with the sewer there until after the fact. And you and Bubba knew about it, but y'all didn't share it with anybody. So, I mean, I don't, I don't understand. Alan, I think that if, I think you need to get help for your job and, I, and you need to find somebody young and train them in your job. You're gonna wanna retire one day. You may wanna take a vacation one day. I'm sure Mary deserves it. Now, anybody? Well, just back to what I was saying, if, just right now, if, I mean, because I work for somebody else too, so you never want to, and I don't know if you cussed him out, I, I don't know, I was not I there. I'm just saying, I, I don't know this, he said, she said, whatever. But what I'm saying is if he's not comfortable right now having a discussion with you, be it feel like he can get a response back or whatever, if you don't feel like you can, you know, talk I to was him. I told I couldn't. Right, so now that's why I'm saying, Robin, being Mayor Pro Tem, I don't are think you, you understand what a Mayor Pro Tem is. I, I do understand. I'm very well, capable then, then of understanding. No, she's to preside over the I, meetings when I'm not here, period. But if you're not talking to him, you can't talk to him. You're, you're not. Melissa acts, she's the city secretary, and when we do not have an administrator, she, she it goes to her. She Melissa is, talks to him. She is city secretary, but as far as she's not comfortable with, um, it's more like a working relationship with them two. She's not over him, he's not over her. Well, nobody said so, that. So, that's just what you just, that's what you just said. Not, well, so. she, well, wait a minute, let me back that one up. Yeah, she so. is when she acts as administrator. And but she, she does doesn't have the official title, so as a council, there's something we need to, he and needs to be you, able to if, come and talk to whoever he needs to talk to to get you, some direction. Like go back and read because there's. there's I, I don't have to go back and read. I, that's just common sense. There, there's. Well, you don't have what? I don't have to go back and read. She is not the. 
Yeah, she, she is. She's, no, she's yeah. not. He's not on paper. When we are without an administrator, she. But she has asks, said several times they have a good working relationship. She, he knows his job. She knows her job. So they have to confer I'm with each other a lot. I'm not ever trying to tell either one of them anything, April. Never mind. Can I say something? Yeah. In my opinion, two adults who are professional in their job should be able to communicate about their job right. without any disagreements, any fighting. It should be pretty cut and dried when you're an adult in the situation. So I think what we need is communication without any back and forth, just strictly about city business. That's right. what we were going to do, and he hired an attorney. Beats me. Well, I'm just saying, I, I you think know, any communication to Patricia should be answered and vice versa, any communication to we, Alan should We've be never answered. had any, a problem up until when I asked that question. Alan, you worked on the budget with Hollis and I, as a matter of fact. You said you didn't know anything about it. You said, and we went through line through line of the budget. No. You don't have to answer. I, I know you did. Hollis knows you did. I have it recorded. Um, th that's the whole thing is I don't understand what the deal is because we want you to hire some people. You won't give your employees a raise. We ask that you give them a raise, even the other guy, and you're sitting there laughing about it. Do you not want employees? I mean, we're fixing to be where we have no employees, so we're going to, everything's got to be contracted out, and, and we're going to be paying a whole lot more. Hold on, Ms. Patricia. What he actually said when he came to raises is he did not want to, somebody just fresh coming in, making more than somebody that had been here 20 years, is what he actually said. Right. I don't want him. That's what he said when he, he came to raise us. He didn't want somebody who he just hired yesterday to be making more than somebody that has worked for the city for years. And, and, uh, we even said, give that guy a raise too. You know, something. But like Robin said, this is something that it, it doesn't have to be so complicated with every single thing that we do. Even if you don't like him before I, you became mayor or whatever, I know it Alan should have all been. His a, life. I like well, Alan. I'm just saying it should be a clean slate. Try to work together, or even if Alan, you know, didn't like you or whatever, it should just try to be well, a it, clean working relationship you. for you know for the city. Now, you know, I think a whole lot of the problem is is just a personality differences uh, everybody doesn't have the same personality and that's kind of what makes makes life interesting in a way but sometimes that gets in the way and uh, uh, I know that, that sometimes uh, uh, Ms. Finstrom can uh, come off as is a pretty rough I don't think that she intends to uh, at least not not most of the time uh, I have I've, I've known uh, Ms. Finstrom and, and Mr. Finstrom for since I came to town in uh, 2010 or came back to town and uh, I've never heard her cuss any now I'm, well, what I want to say is we're all good people, and let's get back to the basics and figure a way to communicate and to get the job of running this city done right. in a professional manner so that there are no snags, there's no... He said, she said, let's just communicate with each other. And that's all, that's the main thing is communication. I've only been on council, what, a month and a half or so. I've seen a situation like this several times. It's not only been with Mr. Watley, it's been with other people and stuff like that. It's been with city council members and everything like that. And there's an old saying I used to use in counseling, 
It's not what you say, it's how you say it. Good job, uh, I just, that, yeah, I, go ahead, Ray. I, I'm sorry. I'm always talking, you go ahead. Uh, if well, you're not going, okay, go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, I need to know, uh, well, I would like to know, you know, one, we can try to work this out, but have you filed paperwork with the Texas Workforce Commission? No. Uh, well, we're not here today to litigate what's going on in this <laughs> matter, but uh, you have been given the uh, notice that the Texas Workforce Commission was notified. Okay. And uh, you have been given notice that uh, Mr. Watley plans to give uh, testimony in regards to a First Amendment retaliation claim case. Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to determine, you know, we can say this and that about getting along and, and waving magic wands, but I need, I just want to know how we progress, what is going to happen next, what do we need to do as a council to try to get this resolved? Well, I think the only thing I can say is that it would be best to um, talk with your council and get advice from your council. That's what I figured. Okay. Well, getting this resolved is not only with Mr. Watley, it's with other individuals that speak and everything else, and it's also with other city council members. Okay. So, so I guess uh, so. Then, I, I guess the the best next step would to be to talk with our attorney. Is we have okay. Yeah, we have. Uh, so we, ha we have a. Oh, I'm sorry, April. Go ahead. I have another question. Not sure if you can answer this. I know you have your attorney here, and I know that you. I know that you love the city. I, I really do. Um, you're kind of like a superman to me, you know, just with everything that you do. So, because I, I couldn't do it. But I just want to know if you want to stay in your role, if you're able to answer that question. Why would he not? Yes, I for sure. I mean, I was born and raised here. My grandpa was sheriff here for years. I still have. Lots of family and lots of friends here. I, me and my wife don't plan on going nowhere. I'll, they'll plant me in Oakwood Memorial Cemetery up there. Okay. So, and my next question is, um, are you, do you think right now until we can get more resolved, are you comfortable with talking to Melissa and then she kind of talks to us, let us know if we need to help you make a decision? And are you comfortable with doing that? Yes, ma'am. So hats, and I hate to say this. Or either I, of I, us, not just. I hate dragging somebody else into my mess. Well, I you can you can talk to okay. any one of us. Okay. So well. me and Melissa have a great working mm -hmm. relationship. She don't know everything. I don't know everything. Right. She is between a rock and a hard spot, I believe. Mm -hmm. She always says that. You know, when somebody comes to her with questions about me, she tries to tell them you need to go talk to Alan. That individual will not, never, hasn't since August 13th. So, I mean. What if I ask you about him? Out of respect for the city and the citizens, I'm not speaking without our attorney present. Good girl. Okay, I, are you through? Yeah, no, I, I don't, I mean, you answer my main you question know, was, Alan you know. Alan has the authority, he doesn't have to, he, he has the authority to do what he wants to, and he's done a good job. I'm just saying, he doesn't need to talk to me about anything. But if he, if he feels like he does, I just don't, I don't want him to feel like if he. I wish the audience would please behave yourselves and quit acting like you're 16. Peter, oh, Tino. Yeah, do that. See what happens to the city. Please. Okay. Go ahead. All I was gonna say is. I think I lost my train of thought, Lord. Help me bring it back to me. What I was gonna say is, if, do you as the mayor 
feel like you can communicate with him on a yeah and not I mean not the way that I, I mean I know sometimes you might not like everything he does I'm I, not saying that you are going to he's not gonna like everything I, that you do I've either. not said I, I've not said anything that I don't like what he does I wish he'd give his people a raise and hire more and get somebody to help him so that he wouldn't have to be there all the time he could take somebody up someday he's gonna retire and, and that's something we can talk could about and talk somebody with him about. Up, a young guy and take them, you know, and teach them. And by the time he gets ready to retire, we'd have a good employee to take over. Sounds good. Now, having gone through this, anybody else want to say anything? One of the things we got today was a fax of an official grievance. And we've got five days to go through this. So I would like to do that at this time. I would like to ask Mr. Whatley, the ongoing harassment, discrimination, and targeted actions. What have I done? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, we sent you a cease and desist letter, and uh, you're not allowed to communicate with my client. Well, uh, one, of the, one of the other council members may ask him a question. And I think you should get a third party law firm to conduct that grievance procedure pro uh, process. Uh, we've requested open session. He, he doesn't want us to. Here's the thing, Alan, the handbook says that you are to have your employees drug tested, do you? Can't answer that either. You're not going to ask him it, questions. It, you know, okay. Let's, let's wait on it. Let's, let's, uh, this, do I hear a motion for adjourn? Uh-huh. I make that Robin motion. Robin uh, made a motion to adjourn. I'll second. All in second. All in favor. Aye. Two eyes against. Do you have any more you, questions? Anything else you want to say? I'm, I'm asking him, does he have oh. anything else he want to say? No. So I he just, anyway. I do want to say oh. I have come, y'all all know I have come to y'all individually. I have talked after a budget workshop, I did go to Mr. Hollis and talk to him about her attitude. I've had a meeting with her and Miss Melissa. She acted out, Miss Melissa would be a good one to ask. I had a meeting with her and the city engineer where I, she lashed out. Hold on. That's tr not true. It's okay, just hold on. Oh. And I've had a it's meeting it's with Mr. Varnell and her where she lashed out. So, I mean, I, I, she has yeah. lashed out at many people in the public council yes. and I get to I mean I come to y'all I come to Miss Robin Friday Miss Robin tried to set up meetings with the mayor I didn't want to do this out in public I wanted to do this with the mayor the mayor pro tem me and my wife and Miss Melissa behind closed doors so we didn't air our dirty laundry she, I got an email Friday at 455 me and my wife were eating supper that she had put it on the agenda for, to have me in executive session. Nor has she talked, she has went to other people and talked, to be, talked about me and has not addressed me about one problem yet. She can go to everybody else and talk about Alan Watley, but she cannot come to Alan Watley and talk to me. That's been going on since she was elected. It's and I've stayed quiet. I've got plenty of people businesses around town where she has bashed me and blamed me for the problems and this is what i get what y'all are seeing with your own two eyes okay we haven't adjourned yet Only i know two. i'm asking though i'm calling for a vote i did go to the one instance that made me call miss robin there was an instance at don juan's where she approached one of my other co-workers from another company that i work for i have never heard that i work for other water companies you can ask Rob, y'all council members know. I don't no, just work for Kellyville Berea. I had one didn't know it the other day. I do not work for just Kellyville Berea. I do work for many. She approached one of my coworkers at a restaurant. Yep. 
with a group of ladies, happened to be one of the group of ladies, just happened to be Miss Robin, so she could verify all this. Sure. She approached her and sure. asked her about Alan Watley working at the city of, at Kellyville Berea Water. She said, yes, he does, you know this. That's said, well, when does he work? She said, before he goes to work for Jefferson, after he gets off from work from Jefferson, I do have my wife here that can vouch for that. And then she said that you must be as stupid as Alan and tell the same stories he does. And turn and walk Robin. Out. She was sitting there. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm not going to give testimony here in this yes, situation. Yes, I don't. I don't expect you to. Right. And I know. I know what was said. And and that that's was not me. exactly. It's all kind of like phone tag. Yeah. But anyway, there's a motion on the table. I would like to vote on it. There's no, a motion on the table. I'm, All in favor I'm, of not, I'm not in favor of it because if we would have had the y'all would have had the private meeting, we wouldn't be hearing about it. Hey, you know what? I I wanted the uh, all of the council here. I think we all need to back him. I, you, I mean, here's the deal. I don't think one council member should know stuff that the rest of them don't. I don't know why we couldn't have sat down and talked about it. That's what I planned on doing. But it turns it into That's why I think it would have been good to just you and him have a talk and then we talk, of just y'all have a talk first. And now that we've brought it to the public, okay, We're it's dismissed. to the public. We haven't voted on it, so you're you're. I dismissed it. Well, we can still talk. Well, too bad. You don't have a vote. We do. Well, then y'all sit here and vote on it. Well, you can. What? That's crazy. No, I'm not gonna quit. There's none of y'all here to make it. I hate to live in your world, lady. You must. be. Is there, is there any more discussion? You I don't have any more discussion. I, I, I just wanted I him to so make, make sure he was done. So. How, how do we close it now? And the second has been well, now made. we can. Okay. Okay. We, I mean, there's nothing we can do. Yeah. Did, did, what's the vote? What's the vote? I'm I sorry. Did you vote quiet, please? What is it? We so. have a motion and a second to, to adjourn. I'm calling for a vote. All in favor. All in favor. Aye. Uh, All opposed? opposed? Okay. Motion passed. Meeting's over. Uh, What's now we, no, now we got to come back out of executive. 7.36. We got to come back out of executive. We're in executive. Open executive. Yeah. So now I thought we she said we're back in session. No, we, we, we um, opened session back up because they wanted this in an open meeting. Oh, so we have yeah. oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. I, so I thought we, I thought it was a call. Good, no. you know, she, okay. she closed okay. executive and then opened.